Hi, it's John. I'm in Glanville's Wooden Church and I'm looking at some window tracery. Um, would it be Gothic? I don't know. But anyway, one of the people I watch on YouTube is someone called Peter Draws. So Peter, it's someone called Peter in America, and he draws doodles. And he's just done one, which is, which is Gothic tracery. And I thought, oh, that looks just like the top of a church window. So I thought I'd drop into the church and just see what evidence we had of um, geometric tracery in design. Now, if we look at the top window there, it's all in a circle. Um, and presumably the, um, the ancients um, found out about circles. I mean, uh, presumably some bright spark um, invented a set of compasses and protractors and things and started drawing circles on the paper as an architect might do and then they worked out certain geometric designs and that some geometric designs actually had a lot of strength um, and this could be thought of as somehow divine you know that in, in geometry there was there was something of God um, now this particular one, it's uh, been reconstructed with some medieval glass in there um, and, and the clear glass. So uh, I think during the Reformation, um, the, um, the Protestants took against any Catholic uh, fr fr uh, frilliness of design, sort of... Um, imagery and that sort of thing. So they, they went around knocking out all the windows. A bit like smash the crocs, I suppose, wasn't it? Um, then later the church thought better of it and they picked up all these odd bits and pieces and tried to weave them back into the windows. Um, so what that would have been like before, I don't know. But that's certainly old glass. And there's some... Um, medieval tiles here. Um, it, it also geometric in design. You know the ancients must have found geometry, and then you know it came to um, other civilizations. And uh, they're a bit hard to see, but they've been copied. Um, where I am now? Oh, there we are. So at the top, it looks like we've got old ones at the top, hunting scenes, and then these bright ones look like um, Victorian copies. Uh, they're known as encaustic tiles. Um, So that set of four tiles certainly has some geometric uh, principles involved with it. Um, these are obviously the modern ones, the copies. Uh, but over, over the years, I mean, people see God in different things, don't they? In um, like geometry, um, also in battle, you know, the, the one the one who wins the battle is the uh, is the one with God on their side, as Bob Dylan said. Um, and and it, and you know it um, it warrants the leader becoming king. And then uh, at other times, people have seen um, seen evidence for God in portraiture, art, and poetry. Um, Designing nature. There are any any number of things that uh, people crack on to see the um, see evidence of God. Um, but you know you won't see the whole thing, will you? You know, um, if you look for God in one thing, you know, like they might have done in one generation, in music, say, um, or in the written word. 
you know, they, they've got it slightly wrong. Um, there's a book called, If You Meet the Buddha on the Road, Kill Him. Um, and, and, and so uh, if, you, if, you th if you think you've found, found the divine in one thing, you'll be wrong. So um, get rid of that. I'm on the south aisle of the church here and there's a little transept and in, in, there's two little things here and there's a soldier tomb here. Um, it's got a dog at the feet as they do have. And there's his um, medieval head. Now there's another bit here which is empty but they filled it up with bits of uh, broken tiles so that's quite interesting um, so they are medieval tiles all sorts of patterns there not just the the hunting scenes There's that south transept of the church, which I was in, and, um, and where the, uh, the soldier tomb was. And uh, the, soldier, the soldier tomb, it was um, a chap called Granville's. So presumably he's, he's uh, you know, the, the founder of the church, the patron. Um, and he founded this in the village, I think. But, you know, that, that presumably that transept was the, the whole of the church at one stage. I mean, look, look at the roof. It looks sort of, um, sort of uh, Roman style, doesn't it? That flat, that flat um, roof like that. And then let this obvious, obviously, well, obviously, it goes back to um, 1200 and something. Um, the, the rest of the church, you know, more modern. Um, a lot of graves in there, 1600 and something, so perhaps that was when it's built, 1600, the rest of it. Really nice church though. 